Signs like these ones are most common in Africa. Wherever you go in the national parks, there are some signboards that warns you, that tells you what to expect and what to do, and also what not to do, because we have the untamed animals that are found within the national parks. So whenever you are walking on the national park, doing the walking safari, whenever you're walking in some of the tourist destinations, the towns like Kariba, we talk about Victoria Falls, we talk about uh, the Kruger National Park, talking about the Chobe National Park. If you happen to see some wild animals, you mustn't cross them. You mustn't walk through them. You mustn't get too close, not too comfortable because they are wild and untamed animals. So you have to be cautious when you approach the animals and when you see the wild animals that are roaming around the streets of some of the African towns that you see. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we meet again yet in another episode where we are talking about the subfamily Hippotragenae. Subfamily Hippotragenae, these are the antelopes that falls under the order Bovidae or the Bovidae's. So these um, antelopes have got horns that are curved backwards. The family Hippotragenae and they look like horses, so we call them the horse antelopes. Under this tribe, the Hippotragenae, we have the Rowan, we have the Sebu, the Adax and the Oryxes. So we are going to discuss the Rowan antelope. The Rowan antelope is called the Hippotragus equinus, that's the scientific name. And uh, with this antelope, we find the grazer. It grazes mainly on the medium to long grasses and uh, the males can weigh up to like 270 kgs and uh, the females can weigh up to like 210 kilograms. Their gestation period is plus or minus 287 days and uh, they give birth to one young one and they are not seasonal when it comes to uh, reproduction. They give birth to one young one throughout the year and these animals can live up to like um, 17 years that's in the world very beautiful animals and they are specially protected in some countries like zimbabwe because they might be facing extinction very soon they are beautiful animals that are actually like tawny are brown and have got some uh, black on their faces and the white as well they are very beautiful animals that looks like horses the uh, sister uh, antelope that we are going to talk about is the sable antelope the hippotragus niger hippotragus niger well, we continue now. We are talking about uh, the Sebo antelope, the Hippotragus niger. The Sebo antelope, the Hippotragus niger. I choose to bring you right here in the wild so that you can see the nature. You see, I'm uh, sitting right here and there is a marsh. You can see there's some uh, green grass that is growing there. And also, if you can look carefully, you can see some water there. So this place is actually frequented by the elephants. They are come here normally each and every day looking for the grass that is here and also some other animals like buffaloes and stuff there's some footprints all over the place and as i'm doing this i'm looking all over the place because i don't trust anything when i'm in the bush like this so yes uh, the sable antelope the hippotragus niger this one is also a grazer and uh, it might browse here and there especially during the dry season it might browse here and there, especially during the dry season. And uh, they are very, very much selective when it comes to feeding. They choose what they feed on most of the times. These animals can weigh up to like 230 kilograms for the males and 210 kilograms for the females, giving birth to one young one after a gestation period of about eight months. Eight months gestation period, they give birth to one young one. And uh, this is uh, during the months of February to April. That's when is the peak season for these antelopes. So they look like uh, the sable or uh, the rowan antelopes, but they are much darker in color. And uh, as for the males, they are darker than the females. And the females look brown, and uh, the males are black and have got white uh, bellies. The horns are so amazing the way they curve backwards. And with the sable antelope, these are dangerous animals. They use their horns to fight back. We've seen them killing dogs many times as they bend back their uh, uh, heads. Actually, the horns would like surpass the body and go to pierce whatever predator that is behind them. So they are very dangerous animals when it comes to fighting back. Whenever they are hunted, they can fight back. The Sebo antelope, Hippotragus niger. 
You know, I love walking and doing the nature walks because you get to see something that you're not prepared to see. If you look right here on this uh, tree, on the tree trunk, there is some mud that were left right here. This is an elephant. They normally come and scratch. They use the trees. They lean on the tree to scratch themselves. So it was after mud bathing when this elephant walked here and he actually scratched himself. They, might, they normally have some uh, parasites, so they scratch themselves a lot. And uh, now we are actually approaching our summer and the leaves on the trees are actually starting to become green. There are new shoots. If you look through the bush there, some other trees are actually getting some new leaves. So this is what I love to do on a daily basis if I'm not busy to see the nature and how the nature is changing day by day. New green leaves that are coming up on the trees and now uh, saw the elephant dung all over the place. I like this. Okay. Now, the next um, animal that we are talking about is the impala that we know. The impala that we know. This is an Episeros melampas. Episeros melampas that falls under the subfamily Episeronae Epi and uh, the tribe is Episeronae. So these are the impalas that are grazers and browsers at the same time. So they are mixed feeders. The impalas are mixed feeders. They give birth to one young one after a gestation period of around 194 to 200 days. 194 to 200 days, they give birth to one young one. That's uh, during the month of November to January. The peak will be at the end of November. That's when we start to have the green grass. And uh, that's when they are much sure that uh, the uh, young ones will find the food that they can eat. And uh, with the impalas, they have a tendency of holding back uh, giving birth. So whenever there is drought, most of the times they would abort or hold back whenever there isn't any enough food they hold back to giving birth. So these ones can live up to like 12 years, that's in the wild, and the females can weigh up to 51 kilograms and the males can weigh up to like 65 kilograms. So the males are larger than the females. And uh, we normally see the males actually forming the bachelor heads. That's uh, after the mating season, the males will go and are grouped together, forming the bachelor heads. And the females will remain within the main head, which is the breeding head, that comprises mainly of the females and the young ones, the breeding head. So with the impalas, they browse on a wide range of uh, plants, that, depending on the availability of food, whatever is there, they actually browse on it. So they are mixed feeders that browses on many types of uh, plants. So they feed on the leaves of the trees, the twigs, as well as the grasses, the impalas. A very successive animal that is found all over Africa. You go to any country that you can think of, enter in the national park. That's where you get to see lots of impalas. Go to Wange National Park in Zimbabwe. They will tell you that an impala is a Wange goat because they are all over the place like goats. If we are making sense, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribing, don't forget to activate the notification bell. And once you do that, you will be notified all the time we upload a new video. And when you are watching our videos, please don't forget to give us a like, a thumbs up. That will help our channel to grow a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video when we will be talking about the bovinae, the subfamily bovinae. Enjoy.